now I am exploring the pie chart report. You might have seen these kind of circles and, and some information coming out. So it is like a summary information. Usually most of the reports are giving you the details, the list of the things. Here you get the total of the things. The thing which is little risky here is you need to choose your filter right uh, because there is no timeline filter. I can't select the 30 days data, 90 days information, 100 days information alone. I can only do it by creating a filter for it. So for example, if I want to see what was the uh, uh, distribution of work in last one month for my different different people, then I need to create that kind of filter. So by default, it is uh, if I'm selecting my whole project and I say that there are various type of grouping I can do, assuming, assuming I go with uh, say assignee kind of, of a, a, a grouping, like who were assigned in the uh, uh, in the work, then I can see a pie chart of that particular uh, 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 thing. And, and it gives me a quick information that who, who were assigned, how much percentage or what kind of issues were assigned to whom. But it is for the whole duration until unless I filter out that duration in my project. And as usual, you can get a click and find out the more details about who was doing what. So going back and see that there are other options as well. So say you can uh, see these things based on your priorities. That's uh, another uh, in interesting stuff you may want to do. You can also, if you are using labels, you can plot this particular chart based on labels as well. So this kind of reporting might be useful. In general, uh, this might be a, a group summary level analysis you may want to do as a monthly review or a retrospective. Uh, but you need to create the filter saying that, okay, my, my project information for last 30 days or last 30 days issues or last 30, created in last 30 days or resolved in last 30 days or something like that kind of, of, of a filtration of it or updated in last 30 days. And then only you can make this kind of pie chart information more, more relevant. Else it is coming for your whole project duration. Till now, this is the, the status for uh, uh, your one. So uh, unlike other report, it is a summary level thing. You see the percentage distribution of a work and you can find the details by clicking in, in the uh, below section. So that's your pie chart report. Many times you can use this pie chart in dashboards. We will explore dashboards separately, but without dashboard also, sometimes you may want to just share this information with your stakeholders.